Hi everybody, if you are looking for a free AI coder that's better than Bolt.new and v0.dev, then E2B is here to save the day. This is Umar from Tutorial Sub and today we will be looking at Fragments by E2B and this is going to be a really interesting video so make sure to stick till the end of this video so you don't uh, you don't miss a single point. So now first of all you can see this is going to be the landing page of E2B and it is be, uh, basically e2b.dev if you want to head over to their official platform you can see we have perplexity landing ai gumload and black box ai everything is uh, trusted by this platform so a really amazing platform and what i suggest you guys is make sure to create your account that is super easy all you need to do in here is you're going to be clicking on this sign up option on the top right side of your screen. Once you click onto this sign up option, you will be able to see that we have either GitHub, Google or email address sign up and we can use all of these to easily get into our platform. Now let's just go back for a moment and here as you can see, we have our product pricing, change log, cookbooks and documents and blogs and everything train up on the top nav bar we're going to be coming on to that later on but today we are going to be discussing about fragments by e2b so currently as you can see i'm on my uh, account and on the top right you can see my account settings we have about e2b stars on github and all that stuff and this is basically uh, fragments so below you can see an interesting thing wh uh, which is similar to chat gpt a prompt box and here you can easily incorporate our models so you can see we have currently selected claude 3.5 sonnet which is really amazing we also have a uh, gpt 4.0 which we can use and many others so you can see we have gemini we have mistral large llama and you name it everything is going to be pretty much in here so i'm going to be going with the already selected one but if you trust maybe on chat gpt 4.0 uh, or 01 mini and whatsoever you can do that as well on the left side you can also see an auto option this is going to be something that is going to be selecting and writing your code in um, most suitable language so currently you can also filter through different languages like for example python next.js and you also have Streamlet and Gradio. So pretty much everything is going to be in here. But if you are not sure about what to go with, you can select this auto feature. And this is going to be helping you to uh, select automatically the most suitable. Now you can also attach a file if you want to incorporate your prompt using a file. You can do that from your custom storage as well. So pretty amazing, right? Now describe your app. In here, I am going to be typing let's just say build a calculator you can also try with various other uh, things as well so i'm going to be typing in here this and once i do let's just click on to this uh, send message button and wait for a couple of seconds and see what it got right so in our previous videos we discussed about various other platforms like bolt.new and v0 dot dev so today we're going to be comparing this that whether this is better than those or not so let's just try that out so you can see the code is looking uh, good on the right side of our, uh, our live preview all right so here we got our calculator so i'm not sure about the color scheme that it selected but you can see 25 and we're going to be simply using this addition plus 25 is equal to 50 so seems pretty good 9 multiply by 2 18 all right so looks good actually now if you want to dive into its code and see the back end and what is going on in there you can see below we have all of the um code sections classes and everything that you would like to go for if you want to change the colors you can see we have this button section and here we got this, uh, I don't know why I selected this uh, white and gray theme, but uh, it actually looks kind of good. So if I tell it to maybe change the color theme, all right, so um, not this code, but calculator. Let's just hit that on and see what it got now. 
Now, maybe it is going to be a changing the color theme. Most probably, I'm going to be diving onto the preview section and see what it is going to be doing. So currently, it is loading. So you're going to be giving it some time. Just wait for a couple of seconds and let's just see. Now, you also have various other uh, features to maybe toggle your theme to light or dark mode. Okay, so I think... Okay, now we got our different color theme in here. And this looks way, way better than before because we were literally not able to see. Sometimes it does... Uh, create this kind of color themes but now I think this is gonna be the best thing that we can do and I think this color theme actually looks really good the purple and gray are really popping out and we got this red clear button showing us exactly what it does so yeah I think it looks good now if I dive into the cone and scroll down to the color section you can see um, with okay so we got our BG purple 600 so Pretty good job in there we got our classes we got devs and also we got our variable declaration and that kind of stuff right so i think this is doing a pretty decent job now we can also build different kind of stuff as well uh, let's build a weather app right Let's just see what it got now. If I want to build maybe a weather app, um, normal looking weather app, nothing fancy. Or maybe a tick cross game, tic-tac-toe, or anything like that. You can easily get it done. And you can build, the possibilities are endless. And if you are serious about development and you want to continue with this, you can even go with the paid plans. If I head over to the second tab, you will be able to see that. Uh, the basically platform E2B is going to be having some price plans as well so you can see the free one is uh, one time a hundred dollar of usage in credits community support up to one hour sandbox session length and 20 concurrent running sandboxes in the pro we get uh, the similar but of course we get a lot of di features like for example 24 hour sandbox session 100 concurrent running sandboxes and we have enterprise for custom prices as well so yeah i hope you can see we have currently used these uh cpus so now let's just see where our weather app is so in here we can enter our city name let's just type in here maybe new york and search that if it is going to be showing up so it is actually not showing up. Actually, let's just try building another app, which I just got in my mind. Uh, build. Maybe uh, let's just go with tic-tac-toe. Okay, so let's just try that and see what it is going to be creating. So a lot of students in the university are struggling with this kind of coding. Um, small task assignments, so they can really use fragments by e to b and not only for that it could be used for bigger you can say like uh, projects as well if you have you can say like interest and also if you are going to be needing assistance with ai so i highly recommend you go with the paid plans so you can see currently we got our tic-tac-toe and we have our reset button so yeah Alright, so here as you can see currently I have told it to create a storefront and this actually looks really really good. Now if I simply check this out you can see we have our images also attached. So I think this one is really better than bold.new and uh, v0 and yeah so that is pretty much it for this video guys. Make sure to subscribe to our channel if you enjoyed this video and like always stay tuned and see you in the next video.